Okay, restoring an image from the Macrium Reflect image that you've created using the boot CD. Insert the CD into the CD tray and boot your computer. You will then have this pop up on your screen which is loading the Linux disk which will quickly be followed by the image restore wizard. Simply click next and select a local or network folder or drive that contains the image that you've created and you simply click on it and it will load up here and click next and then select the disk or partition that you want to restore in this case I want to restore the C drive so I tick this box click next and this is now highlighted again click next you then need to choose the partition or partitions to overwrite of the image data now if you have multiple partitions that you're going to restore with the image hold down the control key to, to multiple select in this case I'm only selecting one drive which if you notice the drive letter has changed from C to D and this is the active partition now I've ticked that one click next and you then need to select whether the partition is going to be active or primary now you can only have one active partition and this is the partition that contains the operating system that starts when you boot your computer and in this case it will be my C drive which will be the active partition so click next and verify image you have the option to verify the image before restoring if you verify the image when you created the backup you might want to click no thank you and skip this if you haven't verified it you can click yes please but bear in mind this will take a bit longer click next and you then get restore the master boot record option you have the option to not replace it or replace with the master boot record from the backup which is recommended if you've had a malware problem you may want to consider replacing with the standard XP master boot record uh, in most cases the recommended method will work without any problems simply click next verify file system integrity at reboot now what this does basically is the same as check disk and it will check the file system integrity when you boot up again and you have the option to skip this as well this is your choice but it's probably worth checking the file system and simply click next and you then get the restore wizard to complete the restore process and restore the image click finish and just let the program run it will load the index and it will process each of the images that it's created as it restores them and this can take anything between 30 minutes and two hours depending on the amount of information you're transferring back onto your drive and just allow it to run as you can see it's processed each of these 98 percent complete when it's finished you will get the little pop-up saying the image was successfully restored click OK or press enter and you then have the option to go back and restore another partition or you can cancel to exit and reboot now I've clicked cancel and it states your computer will now reboot either click OK or press enter and the computer restarts and then it will boot up as it normally does everything's clean everything's left intact the way you left it or the way your image was created and it's free it's easy it's simple to use and I back up once a month with a clean backup I now have July and August any previous backups will now be deleted because they're just taking up space that doesn't need to be taken up and it really is that simple if you want more information check out my blog which is free PC security and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk